Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing about data policies. This is the incident form. And you know what is a UI policy? That is the policy which works on user interface that is client side. So let's say this subcategory field is mandatory using UI policy. So when without entering any value, if I go and save this, in that case, it will throw an error because this is a mandatory field which is happening because of UI policy. But what will happen if this record comes via web service or via import into the system? In that case, this UI policy will not work. The thing which works is data policy. You will find all the data policies in the data policy table under system policy here. When we talk about the difference between data policy and UI policy, there is only one difference that is the UI policy work and client side, whereas data policies works at server side. So now let me show you a quick demonstration of data policy. So this is an incident table. I will import data into this table and create a data policy based on add emoji field. So to create a new policy, go here, data policies, click on new. You can compare this with the UI policy. The only three things which are different is this apply to import set when you are importing data, apply to SOAP when you are using web service or you want to use this data policy as a UI policy. Then we have the condition, then we have the action. Okay. So I have already created a data policy. Just let me show you. You see here, this is on incident table, reverse if false, apply to only import sets. Okay. So I think you know what is reverse if false. If you don't know, please watch the UI policy video in my channel. Okay, then we have the sort description and then condition. This is the condition active is true. It will pick up only active incidents. Then we have data policy rule on add emoji field and it is checking if the field is having some value because I have opted for mandatory true. If the field has no value, it means the data should not be added. There will be an error. So let's see how it will work. Okay. So you see, this is a sample data here. Only two incidents are having add emoji value. Otherwise, all these are empty. So let me go to load data, create import set table. Let's say data policy test, attach the file, submit. It has inserted all the eight records. Very good. We have the import set ready. Let me go to the transform map. Provide some name here. Add the table. Save it. As the column names are same, let me click on auto matching. Okay, field map is created. Everything is ready. Let's transform the data. Click on transform. Transform is successful. Let me see the import set. So here I see two inserted. Okay. INC 25, INC 22. Let me open the data. So INC 25, yes. INC 22, yes. And 24, 20, 19, all these are throwing some error because they do not have the value of add emoji. So you see that the data policy is working. It is not allowing the data into the tables, which is not having the value in add emoji field. So I hope you understand what is the data policy, how it works. This is it for today. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Let us know what you want. Thank you so much. Bye bye.